Okay, as of my previous video, I will be reviewing some box art. Track and Field 2, yeah, this looks like a college poster that's trying to get you to join. Rest in peace, all your savings. TMNT, I can't really complain about the art since technically back then, they really had no distinct design, but, yeah, sums it up. Uh, yeah, Americanization, it's not ugly, though, so, yeah, whatever. Ninja God, I actually like this art. It shows off what 90s ninja action movies were like, but the problem is he's literally the size of a tower, so, but I'll still give credit where credit's due. Tetris, you're literally being massacred and murdered by blocks from Russia. Super Mario Brothers free. It's simplistic, just like the Final Fantasy Japanese box art. Ninja Gaiden 2. Uh, yep, that's a thing, but this time, the dragon is the size of a world. Maybe it makes, you know, the entire Empire State Building look like a teacup. Not to mention, where's the ninja sitting? Is he, like, on the water? Is he the messiah? Is that why in this game, in the previous one, when we died, we could just restart? Likely. But it takes three days to get a new controller after you've broken the game by how brutal it is. Winter Games. A 1980s drug trip. Starring Brad Pitt. Airwolf. I can't really say much here. It's a plane. It's an American box art. Why, why should I be wanting... Adventure Island. Reminds you of some bootleg Chinese toy or something. Temco Bowl. I hate this game. I hate it. Just, I hate it. I don't like bowling. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't like football, really. Robocop. It's a Data East game based off of a movie. It's an NES, but the art is... It depicts, I guess, the character, so, yeah. I also hate this game, but yeah, it's Simpsons. Now this, they did more than art for this one. They made the copy of this game gold to say, yeah, it's going to be a mad adventure. You could say it's going to be a bizarre adventure. Except there is no arrow you need to get. You need, well, technically you need to get a silver arrow and use that to kill Ganon, so. Yes, and this one... The one that could give you a seizure. Rad Racer. It has, yeah, NES box art. So, let's see the next one. Hogan's Alley. You're literally getting murdered on this screen. What are you going to do about that? Uh, let me get the next one. Yada yada does a frick. Alright, let's review the next one. Golf. You're golfing. What a fun time. Fun for the family. Bubble Bobble. It's cute. like the game. But there's something eerie about it. Final Fantasy. Starring... Uh, what's his name again? Frickin' Kurt Cobain. No. That'd be a weird interpretation of basketball. I think that exists. No, I'm thinking of the dude who's in Passion of the Christ. Mel Gibson. Yep. It's a me, a doki, a doki, a panic. Minimal box art, I guess. And then this. They actually, this is when they showed it, but. I can't tell my eyes are messed. No, yeah, it's different. So, yeah, it's showing off what human tea is about. This. What is going on in this? It, this is the problem with Battle Arena Toshinda. It looks like it just was drawn by a lazy college team. Yada yada frickin' dozzy. Dr. Mario! I have taken more than peace and I am going mad. I have lost everything. My parents called me bad. Section Z, it's literally cropped in. It's like, yeah. Oof. Tennis. You fail on the screen. Under Zelda, it's gray. Excite bike. 
you're gonna be arrested soon and detained in 8-bit. River City Ransom, you're about to get beaten to death. This dude literally has a knife over here. Oh, no, wait, no, that's not a knife. That's a uh, stick, which is a baseball bat. Mega Man Free, he's literally aiming at Sparkman's crotch. Vegas Dream, ecstasy in one picture. Now let's see, Dragon Warrior. You're about to be slaughtered alive because you didn't grind for a long time. This, yep, he's dying, and this duck just got almost his skull blasted off. He can now see his wife and children again. Funko Land, bring home the fun. Blaster Master. Oh boy, I can't wait for the to show the CEO this design for the new Aliens movie. RC Pro AM. Brought to you by the dude who made Conker's Bad Fur Day. This is some decent art. Pinball. How does this work? That is what NES box art was like.